becoming familiar and navigating around in directed min. This demo assumes you've already logged in to directed min. Now let's familiarize ourselves with directed min. Across the top of the main directed min screen, there are icons available for easy access to the most popular tools. The webmail icon will take you directly to your webmail application. The password icon is a quick link to where you can change or reset your account password. The help icon will take you to complete documentation on using Direct Admin. The files icon takes you directly to File Manager. And the logout icon is what you click when you are finished with Direct Admin. You should always log out when you are finished. Let's go take a look at the available help documentation. Click the help icon. This is the main help page, and it has dozens of helpful links for learning how to use Direct Admin. Click the Editing HTML link here. We get taken to a page that explains exactly how to edit HTML pages, complete with additional links you can click to get more information. Now click the Creating Email Accounts link. Here's a page that explains how to create email accounts. This help page is a terrific source of information on using Direct Admin. Now back at the main Direct Admin page, on the right of the screen is some general account information. You can see how much disk space you've used and how much you have available to you. And same with bandwidth or data transfer, emails, FTP accounts, and MySQL databases. Scroll down. Click the server information link here. Here we can see detailed information about the server. And if we scroll down, we can see if all the services in the server XM, MySQL, Apache, etc. are running properly. Scroll back to the top of the page. Click the Home icon. Now let's take a look at the installed Perl modules. Click here. This page lists every Perl module that's listed in the server. You may need to consult this page if you're installing a script that needs a certain Perl module and you're unsure if it's installed. Scroll down. This is the end of the tutorial. You should now be more familiar with navigating around in Direct Admin. To learn about the various features of Direct Admin, you can return to the help link on this main page.